bloody 32. Summer's definitely here in West. Um, blowing a southerly, 32 degrees. But anyway, the wiring for you, Greg, mate. Cheers for the question, cheers for the support. Bloody excellent, really helped me out, mate. The, um, the wiring to this front bar, I don't know if you can hear with the wind, it's a bit of a pain. Sorry about that. But the wiring simply will run straight under this, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, the bloody rubber bit, which just simply clips up. Or get a little flathead screwdriver and just pop it up. And that should clip back on, there it goes. Oh, clips back on. But this is a King's, King's wiring kit that comes with the spotlights. And it's just run, yeah, pretty much straight down there. Straight down in here, along in there to the bull bar. Bloody phone call, but anyway. Under this clip here, which just do the same, you can pop that out with a small flathead. I don't want to pop it out because it's a bit tricky and those clips are a bit brittle. Don't know if you can see them. But yeah, straight down there. Under this little rubber, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, but you just pretty much pull that out. You can manhandle that a lot and it's fine. Does the job, flip back in, you just manhandle it a bit more. And she should pop in, maybe. Any day now. Yeah, it runs inside the bonnet here, along to these lights here, which is just all in the King's kit for the spotlights. Um, the wiring harness thing it is, you get about 20 bucks, 30 bucks maybe, on their website delivered, but it came in the kit. Uh, as for the lights on the side and the back here, it is a bit messy at the back here, but it does the job for me. These side lights are run in this channel. Phone call, sorry about that. But yeah, the back, where were we here? The back lights, which are just simply, yeah, fed along this channel here. There is grooves in the rhino rack. It is a bit messy, I think I mentioned that, but it does the job. There's another little clip there under the Prado. Like the roof line, sorry. Clips in. Run it straight down there, and if you pull these back, there is a little gap there where you can run that pretty much down the whole way down here and into here. But I will be doing a separate video on this rear setup, what I've got going on in the back here, and the power wise. But that's pretty much the short story for you of how I've run these wires on this rhino rack good job so I'm really happy with it so that was just a quick little rundown of how I've um, sort of put the wires up there and what I've done but I haven't really got the time to do a full in-depth video but there will be one coming on the rear setup power wires and I'll chuck in how I've done those lights but um, yeah that'll be in the new year hopefully and I hope this helped you out, mate. Um, cheers for watching. If you like what you see there, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It helps me out in more ways than one, really. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.